In this video, we're going to go over some of the features that are available with the script that comes with the button box. When you open the project resources button box folder, you'll find inside of that a folder named software resources. Further inside of there, you'll find the Ableton MIDI remote script button box. Here, this remote script has all of the instructions as a readme file, and it also has the button box folder that you're going to need to place into the MIDI remote scripts within the Ableton Live software application itself. As you can see, the button box is fully built here. There's a three by three red box that allows you to move around and navigate. You've got left, right, up and down, and then you've got three scene launches. Let's start in. So I would started a pad, launched a kick drum, and then launched a scene. Now navigating around using the red box. I stop a clip and start another one. Using the red box to navigate again. I launch a scene. Stopping one clip, launching another clip. Navigating via the red box, stopping another clip. And launching a full scene. Adding more clips in. And stopping other ones. Starting and stopping clips. Changing the variety of the drums by firing off another clip. Stopping some clips and adding other ones. And finally, launching a whole scene. As you can see, there's a ton of functionality available with the button box. Just by utilizing this script in a 4x4 grid, you can make your way all around an Ableton Live set and really start jamming right away. All with a kit that you built yourself. 